Are you ready to <laughs> see? Are you I'm ready gonna... to tango? Uh, <laughs> I almost <laughs> said, "Are you ready to tango?" Did you? Uh, was that what you? I just literally, said? yeah. Oh wow! I just all right, that. all right. Hey, Ken Folk, welcome back to Keeping It Neat. I'm Nick, certified bartender. I am Derek, executive bourbon steward. You know what we're doing here. We don't know what's in the glass. We don't know what's in the container. And we're here to figure it out. Anything else, Derek? I got nothing. I think you covered it all, sir. For once. So, <laughs> are you ready to whiskey? I am ready and able. <laughs> and then we can tango. Yeah, now we'll tango later. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. That's a That threw me way off. Dude, hunt, like Ooh, smack of wow. honey. Like, like just fresh honey. It's got a nice, it's, it has a nice light nose to it. It's got a light color too. It's like straw. It's got like a caramel. Yeah. A vanilla, like a vanilla icing. Like a van vanilla caramel icing. Well, there you go. We covered <laughs> it. We've got it. We're 50 50. We know we're going to get it. We're going to roll the dice. It's like a cake. It's like that cakeish note to it, like that, like a sweet cake. The icing on it with a little, uh, like yeah. an herbal mint. And like a couple of those, I like, don't know why I did that. It's well, like, you know why? Little Sprinkles. Little... Oh, it's like oh, the, the little, little like circle. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that, like confetti. Yeah, the, the confetti, confetti stuff. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, oh, let's come get so excited. <laughs> I know. Calm down. Easy. Sorry. I'm gonna go paint Whoa. on you oh, now. He went back hat backwards. There's a little spice in there too, like a baking spice going on. It does have that wicked icing. It's got that it. icing, like the cake icing on it, like a vanilla cake icing. But like, wow. it, but it's like a, like it's a yellow cake. I'm being yes. very specific. No, it with is. This. It's a yellow cake. The flat, the the flab, the flab. You know the flab you like on it. The slab. Like on the grandma's aunt, arms. You know that little thing you used to play with when you were like three. <laughs> Just bat it back and forth. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> when they went up, it looks like they were gonna fly away. They're gonna fly off into the sunset. Ah! The mighty grandma bird. The <laughs> Better watch out. Yeah. Nana's coming. She'll come get you like the Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I think we got to go in. All right. Let's go in and break it up. All right. That's nice. Wow. So it's got a little bit of a um, a peatiness to yeah, it. Yeah, but it's light. It's not Very overpowering. Light. No. It's a light, super light smoke in the background. It's not, it's not forward. Yeah. Right on the front of your tongue, I'm getting that honey note, a uh, little like copperish, like still. A uh, little spice, or like a, like a light, like a cinnamon. Yeah, I'm getting like a tobacco, mm. a little bit. You know, I'm gonna put some water in it. See if it opens up any other notes in there that I may be missing. I know that there's a little barreling going on in there too. There's like an oak, like a super light, like oak note in there though. It's like a nuttiness. Nuttiness, huh? Like a, I'm not explain it, but back to the cake analogy. Okay. Sometimes depending on like the vanilla. That you use, there can sometimes be like a, a nuttiness okay. in the back, flake, like in the palate. A little bit in the palate. Okay. I don't know what you would describe. Almond it, flour, or maybe, something like, maybe maybe like, like that? an almond. almond. Um, Ooh, almond. Like almond butter, almond um... extract. Oh, That's okay. What I'm looking for. Oh, all right. Well, see, I'm getting a little bit more of that now. The water, when I put the water in it, it gave me a little bit more of that iodiney taste to it. I also noticed that if it sits in your mouth a lot longer, it it opens up more. All right, man. Hmm. Is this? Is this? Let's go to our trusty boards. All right. All right, Dark. What do you think for a score, pal? Three point five. I'm right there. It's either yeah. it's either point five or point seven five. But I'm I'll do the point seven five. I'll do the lean. All right. What Bus do you got? Business hat. Come oh, back business on. Hat coming. All right. So I think it's a Scotch. All right. Uh, I think it's a forty six percent alcohol Ooh. with H two no. Okay. And I did write. Oh, you... Is it a tail of cake? Oh, okay. Um, I went with scotch also. Yeah. I went 42% H2NO also because mm -hmm. I don't think the H, I thought it brought out some kind of notes I really didn't enjoy. I'd rather just drink it neat, yes. honestly. So, all right. Here comes the telltale if we're chumps or champions. We are champions. I'll take the champion. It's the Brook Lattic, the classic laddie. I've never heard of that. That is, um, they make a couple of different ones, actually, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I think I, the pronunciation is on the material here. I will see. Uh, this is the it's pronounced like Bruck, words. Bruck, Bruck, um, B -R -U -U Bruck, 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 Laddie. The Bruck, Laddie. That's how this, that's the Bruck, it's not Laddie, it's Bruck, Laddie. Bruck, Laddie. Bruck, Laddie. It's an unpeated scotch. 
which is figure I, that one out. It, but they still use like the peated water and stuff like they so that's added in there. So you still might get it. And Isla single malt scotch whiskey. You're the a close again, dude. You're with the proofing. 100 proof, 50% alcohol, aged five years. Mash bill is 100% malted barley. The distillery is the Brucolati. Um, parent company is Remy Cointreau. Mm. That's a different company we've never heard before. Nope. Um, all the notes will be down below also for everyone. Um, the appearance, sir, is a sunlight on fields of summer barley. Wow. Right? That's literally in, that's literally their note. Um, <laughs> Now, That's awesome. dude, the nose. The, these right. are the, these are some of the longest nosing notes, and I actually got these. I know I got these from the site itself, and the, I was like, these are ridiculous. Uh, the bouquet is brilliant, opening with barley, sugar, and a hint of mint before leading into the most wonderful notes of freshly cut wild flowers, buttercup, daisy, meadow sweet, myrtle, primrose, and cherry blossom. Oh, they named our flowers. The cleanliness of the spirit is remarkable as the seconds tick by. More aromas rise from the glass. Little zephyrs of spindrift and sea pinks reminding you that the spirit is matured exclusively by the sea after some four or five minutes in, with the addition of a little drop of water. Caramelized fruits drift into the scene. Lemon drops and honey. Tangerine and tablet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's crazy, dude. Gosh. That's just the nose. The palate entry is so refined and refreshing. The sweet oak and the barley arriving together, sending the taste buds into raptures. The fruits from distillation drift in an Atlantic breeze and pop on the tongue like champagne bubbles. The combination of ripe green fruit, brown sugar, and sweet malt bring closure. That's not it, though. Hold on. There's more. <laughs> A taste back in time, a realization that it is not all single malts are equal. And to achieve the absolute optimum, you must use barley that is made in Scotland. Hold on. Okay. Make this one the benchmark for all others you are, <laughs> others you meet on your journey through the stills of Scotland. I will. I tell you. Finish is unforgettable, much like the tasting notes. <laughs> all right. Seriously. The best enjoyed being good company. So those Wait, are the longest, was... oddest notes I've ever heard in my life. That's congratulations, Brooklady. That was amazing. Yeah. I, I'm going to give you. I want to paint a picture now. Yeah. I want to be like an artist of yeah. some sort. Well, throw... I wore the right hat today. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I literally turned around. And I said, "Let's paint some art." <laughs> I mean, you just painted a beautiful picture. That was a beautiful picture, but I... it's, it's because of this beautiful bottle in front of us. I'm going to stick with my 3.75 because gonna... I. I love, first of all, that that entire note <laughs> makes it the 0.75. I'm going to stay with my 3.5 on that one. Those were easily, I think, I would still put that at number two, but the second best notes we've ever read on this show. Yeah, that's probably the second best. Most right behind Jackal Jackalope. Oh, the Burr Eye. Burr Eye. Burr -Eye. Yep. That was amazing. Yeah, was the, this, another good set of notes. Uh, that I one love a like, good set of notes. Yeah, that that's awesome. that is the most descriptive notes for flavor, you know, palate, nose, everything. That was yeah. incredible. But awesome. other than that, buddy, got anything else, my friend? I got nothing besides if you haven't yet, subscribe, click the notifications, turn them on. Here are the latest coming from us. As always, keeping it neat here. We're always having a good time and we want to have the good times with you. So yes, we do. <laughs> Yes, we yes, we do. do. Yes, like a smooth do. Atlantic breeze. <laughs> Going through my hair. Yeah. Oh, God. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's hoping you find a little bit of luxury. In an otherwise ordinary life, everyone. Take care. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.